Hello. Let's discuss how miscarriages can impact a woman's health and uh, her partner's health as well. So if the woman has already been diagnosed with mental illness like depression or anxiety, definitely they will be exacerbated. Uh, sometimes the woman is um, not uh, mentally ill, however, uh, upon the miscarriage being such an unexpected uh, sad event, uh, the woman can develop uh, anxiety, depression, and if untreated, can turn into uh, major mental illnesses. So when it comes to the anxiety, uh, it can be um, generalized. The woman can start having generalized anxiety when it comes to literally every aspect of her life, as well as when planning for a future pregnancy. Um, her partner as well can be very anxious uh, about that. And definitely it is recommended to see a psychotherapist. The best uh, for me is rational emotive um, in combination with hypnotherapy and kinesiology. Uh, depression, of course, it's one of the stages of grief. So uh, the person, um, if she doesn't, and as well with her husband, if they don't seek um, mental health help, definitely they can be stuck in one of the stages of grief, um, denial, one of them, bargaining is one of them, uh, as well as uh, depression, very commonly seen uh, post-miscarriage. So um, miscarriages, uh, some people, they, they say like, oh, they happen, you know, uh, in the early stages of pregnancy, five weeks, six, eight, nine weeks, whatever. Uh, let me tell you, please do not belittle this, you know, because um, they definitely hold the same emotional weight of losing a, a well-known and older uh, loved one, person, child. So the grief that follows definitely can serve some heavy uh, doses of depression as a result, uh, even if in the early stages. So let's not belittle that or tell a person that has been through a miscarriage that, you know, it's okay, it's been early on, uh, etc. So belittling is never uh, recommended. Um, guilt. Guilt is definitely uh, one of the most prominent feelings after a miscarriage. Um, uh, plenty of considerations, uh, be it for the uh, woman or her healthcare provider as well, uh, or even the partner, you know, when it comes to many things. Um, um, definitely guilt can be a very intense emotion, long lasting and uh, guilt also like feeds into depression and anxiety. So the more guilty uh, you feel due to the miscarriage, the more anxious or the more depressed you will be feeling as well. So uh, do remember that uh, there is nothing that you could have done or it happened right so it's important to work on accepting the fact and letting it go and being able to plan for a better uh, healthier pregnancy the next time rather than drowning in in the guilt easier said than done this is why you know i always recommend psychotherapy with hypnotherapy cbth because you know talk on a conscious level and at the same time work on a subconscious level. Uh, so if the anxiety and the depression haven't been looked at properly, definitely post-traumatic stress disorder can, um, can you know, show up for us. And uh, definitely uh, it's all about having flashbacks, intrusive thoughts, uh, even nightmares. 
So um, myself being specialized in trauma healing, so I have the skills and the tools to, uh, to help you, to help myself first and to also help you. So uh, spread this video for awareness and um, let's hope you will have a pregnancy, a healthy pregnancy after the loss. Thank you.